Hello and welcome to another update uh, for the Operation Candyland DCS multiplayer server. Uh, we're in day two of the restart of the campaign. Uh, so just want to first kind of take a look at uh, the Discord message for uh, kind of the op. So uh, this morning uh, at nine, I took a screenshot of where things currently were and posted this in the Discord channel for daily objectives. Uh, so primary objective was to help this ground advance uh, push into TWEPS. And uh, the second objective uh, was to basically contain uh, this advance by red uh, and stop it at MAKOP. So far, uh, what's gone on? this out of the way is red has kind of blown right through makeup uh, and we can see this chain of units just pushing through it's been harassed a little bit by um, some Apache flights that have been taking up from uh, Vodi and uh, you know killing some units here and there but it continues to push through um, also uh, on the blue side we can see that uh, the push to toward TWAPS has been uh, pretty good so far, so they're right outside of it. Uh, there was an enemy ship uh, that was doing kind of coastal defense here at uh, Novo, or Novorosic, uh, and it was just sitting there, and he just got bombed a little bit ago. I can't see because it's dark out right now, uh, but he's on his uh, last leg, so if he could be killed before server restart, that will finish him off. Um, which would be uh, nice to just get that asset out. Uh, in the backfield, uh, there's an A-10 flight just kind of circling around here, killing stuff. Um, uh, I imagine that a fighter is going to get up and go chase him down uh, pretty soon, but while he can attack stuff, he is. Um, so overall, uh, you know, it's very interesting to see how uh, within 24 hours of driving, um, you know where these units can actually get to and the scout units of course are kind of the the lead ones out but what this kind of means now for uh zone ownership is blue owns Vodi, nalchik um mazdak bezlin uh and then kind of the three starting airports as well as batumi kobaletti kutaisi uh sanaki uh, sakumi gudada and sochi and so when the uh server restarts it looks at the most forward um, position or airbase and allows human helicopters to spawn from the most forward one and then uh, human flights to start from one back uh, just to create a little bit of a buffer zone uh, so if we go to spawn in uh, we'll probably either get uh, Gudata or Nalchik depending on how uh, the spawning uh, kind of decides where we should we should be at uh, the U.S. carriers gotten uh, much closer into the uh, naval theater, so this has been launching flights which have been attacking uh, any flights that have been coming up into this area and attacking them, which is great. Uh, a couple code changes, so I've been battling a bit with the radios and call signs, but I think this is finally uh, sorted out. So uh, the objective here was to just try to uh, get the call signs for the units to increment appropriately so not everything is Enfield 1-1. More or less, all the blue units, all the blue flights are starting to fall into line and we're starting to see the uh, call signs. Um, sometimes it's not having one, so my guess is, is that there's some error, which I think I figured out what that is and pushed a fix for that, so uh, post-server restart, we'll see if that takes effect. Um, if that ends up all kind of working fine, uh, we'll apply it to the choppers. Uh, and then after that, apply it to red, which is all just the same right now. So working through that, uh, there's also an idea of changing the multiplayer call sign names. So being able to change um, your call sign uh, in mission uh, uh, so that that way, instead of you being Enfield 1-1, you could be, you know, Chevy 9-1 or whatever you so choose. Uh, it doesn't seem that the DS the, the uh, DCS code is allowing me to do that quite yet, so I might have to spend a little bit more time uh, fudging around with that, but I really hope that will work because I think that'll be uh, a nice little feature and that way if you join the server with some friends, you know, you could all pick Chevy Flight or Ford Flight or, or whatever you want. Um, 
other little code fixes. So I think I discovered why after server restart, even though it's the next day, the date up here would go back to day one. Uh, so I pushed a fix for that. The next reset for day two hasn't happened yet, uh, but hoping that that happens, uh, you know, at some point uh, today. So we'll see if that tracks, if that change uh, sticks, and if so, then this will be a good, um, you know, place to look to see just how many days has the the mission been running uh, from within. Uh, what else, what else, what else? So um, yesterday I posted a video of just me doing a mission. I'll do another one of those right after this. Uh, I had a couple requests to share the kneeboard files that I make. Um, I will share that, they're not quite done yet. So uh, just give me another week uh, to add like ground and, and some other uh, kneeboards to that. And then I will share those in the Discord uh, so that you can come on and just download them and, and uh, place them in the kneeboard folder. And that should work for you. Uh, other than that, um, it's dark out currently on the map. It's uh, about one in the morning, so there's really nothing to show off. Uh, so I think I will cut this video short. Uh, but again, uh, if you want to come on and play, just search for Candyland in the DCS server list. Uh, don't forget that right now, all of the aircraft in DCS are basically free to try, except for I think the JF-17 and the F-14B. Uh, so if you just want to hop onto a server and just kind of test some new planes or whatever, it's totally cool. This is an alpha, so not taking anything too seriously. Uh, if you see any server issues or anything that uh, you'd like to see working better, uh, just let me know. Thanks.